Hi YouTubers, it's Smoke C, uh, Sussing Enfix here today, so in the garage again on a very special day. The reason it's special is because this is going to be the 3000 video. Yes, finally I'm doing it right now, the 3000 video, and it's going to be quite a long video, so if you're not into watching long videos, click off right now. Don't uh, leave a nasty comment, just click off right now if you're not into watching long videos. I hope the iPad will be able to record the whole thing, but yeah. So I will be doing a video right now. Okay. So, this is a 3000 video. I have my Word document right here. And I already said hi. I introduced uh, the video. I will explain right now how this video will work. So, if you don't know, if you haven't watched my videos, like my six years since I started smoking, six and a half years since I started smoking, my anniversary videos, this kind of stuff, I go off of a Microsoft Word document right here. And I will, everything is listed right here. And I will explain uh, this, this, and this. This is kind of like in chronological order. So, anyway, and you might hear some noise in the background with the oil burner, the cars going by. Don't complain. Again, if you don't like the video, don't watch the video. I've been getting a lot of trolls recently. I've been getting a lot of um, people disliking my videos. If you don't like the video, don't watch the video. You have every right to click off right now. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to light up my Big Ass Cigar. Oh, that has a keeping. Smoking a Big Ass Cigar, Floyd Olivia. And I'm drinking uh, some beer. Uh, Sam Adams Light. And yes, I'm 24 and a half years old. So let's do the video right now. Okay, so I'm going to get the cigar lit right now. I'm not going to toast it, I'm just going to light it. Okay. It helps to have the um, mirror, or not the mirror, but the iPad, because it helps me light the cigar, because I can see it in the uh, viewfinder. And it's, it really makes the cars going by, so... Again, if you don't like loud noise, if you don't like the oil burner, just click off right now. And the reason I'm saying that is because... Uh, I have been getting a lot of dislikes on my videos, a lot of people trolling me, and it's just, you know, if you don't like the video, don't watch the video, that's all I can say. Hard to light, the cigar. I have to swallow my saliva first. I usually toast my cigars first. The only reason I'm not toasting is because it would take too much time. And time is this video, so because I don't want the iPad to die. Like they say, time's money. Okay, pretty bad light, but that's not going to make much of a difference because the cigar will burn evenly anyway. So, yeah. Without further ado, I will start doing this video. Let me just flick off the ash so I get a little bit more even of a burn. As you can see, this big ass cigar right now is not burning great, but that's not going to make much of a difference. Okay, I usually toast my cigars. If you're wondering why it's a kind of a wavy burn, it's because I usually toast my cigars before smoking them. Anyway, so let's uh, start the video topic. So, as I said before, this is going to be my 3,000th video, and I will be smoking a big ass cigar, and I also will be drinking a beer. So, cheers! Now, I realize this is not exactly my 3,000th video on the dot because there's really no way I could figure that out. And as of recent, YouTube has disabled how many videos you have. Or not that, but they have they don't tell you anymore how many videos you have as of late 2015. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to start guessing how many videos I have. And I really hope for my 4,000th video special, they don't have to um, count how many videos I have. Because that would be a pain in the ass. Big ass cigar. Anyway, so, enough about YouTube and rambling. Let's get into the actual video topic. 
So, uh, I got the cigar lit. Um, I want to explain now, and it, this might be kind of repetitive, if you've seen my other anniversary videos, like 1,000 video, 2,000 video, this might be a little bit repetitive, but um, watch if you want if you want to watch. If you don't want to watch, don't troll me. So, so how did I get started with started my YouTube account? So, way back in let's see, um, January 2010. Yeah, January 2010. I, um, I, I've told the story before many times about how I started my YouTube channel, so I'm not going to go over it again and again in the same detail, because that would just be repetitive. But basically, I had had a prior channel on YouTube for a while called SE787, and I was getting kind of bored with it, I wasn't getting enough views, I never had many subscribers, I think I had like 20 subscribers on that channel, while this channel has almost 1,800 subscribers. So I never got a lot of videos, and I or a lot of views, or a lot of subscribers, or a lot of hits on that channel. And it was kind of becoming kind of tiresome. I had that channel since April 2009, uh, around my 18th birthday, because my 18th birthday is on, my birthday is on April 3rd, 2009. I was born April 3rd, 2000, uh, 1991. So, yeah, I was, I was getting kind of bored about this channel because, you know, I wasn't getting many views, I've been at it for almost a year now, and... To be quite frank, I wasn't doing well with it. So I decided, I was like, hmm, you know. You know, I love pipe smoking because I've been smoking a pipe and cigars here and there since, um, since April 3rd, 2009, since I turned 18. I was like, hmm, why don't I start making pipe smoking videos? Because I had started to watch people as of fall 2009, people like Piper and CHS, people like Mock Mock Mark, if you remember him, people like, um, who are a few of the other ones, Joffrey the Giant, people like, a lot of the old people, so, not old people, but, um, you get the point, people who used to make videos a long time ago who don't, who don't make videos anymore. So, I said, you know what, finally, as of late December 2009, early 2010, I was like, you know, I'm going to start making videos. I'm going to start making pipe smoking videos. Nice big ass cigar. Anyway, so I first entered a, a contest that Piper had on Smiley Pipes, and I lost, but I entered anyway. And that was on my SC787 channel. And then, in early 2010, I believe, January 8th, 2010, I said, you know what, I'm going to make pipe smoking videos myself. I was a little bit apprehensive at first, and I know this is a lot of rambling, because I was like, you know, YouTube isn't super crazy about smoking videos. They weren't super crazy back then about smoking videos. Not that they were not allowed, but um, they were allowed, but... I wasn't really sure what people would think of somebody, and keep keep in mind back then, even though I was a car going by. Um, even though I was of legal age to smoke, I looked a lot younger. If you look at my very early videos on YouTube, like my videos from 2010, I looked a lot younger than I do now. So I was a little bit nervous about, you know, filming myself smoking a pipe because people might think it's like pot. People might think I look stupid. People might think I look uh, underage or something like that, even though I was of legal age, even though I wasn't smoking marijuana. I've never smoked marijuana. So I was kind of nervous about making videos, but I finally did it. And I uploaded the first three videos on my SE77 channel, my video game channel. If you don't know, it was, it was a video game channel, a Let's Play video uh, channel. So, car going by. So, I uploaded my first three videos, and then I was like, I was like, you know what, I want to do this more full-time, so the same day, I created a new YouTube account, which was a lot more compl complicated back then, technology wasn't as advanced as, what, as it is now, and I created my 
um, Smoking SC77 channel, which is my current channel you're watching. So now, that's how I got started. Now my smoking history, this is the next one on the list. This list is, is numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Is, num is number 5. Excuse me, which is my smoking history prior to my YouTube account. So prior to my YouTube account, my smoking history was pretty, very different. Um, I did smoke cigarettes off and on a little bit. For about three months. I didn't like them, I didn't inhale, I just, bleh. Didn't like cigarettes, but I smoked them anyway because it was kind of stupid of me. And I regret every day that I did it because it was a stupid thing to do. So, no offense to people who like cigarettes. Um, now, let's see. I started smoking on my 18th birthday, which is April 3rd, 2009. And, let's see. For the first couple months, I was smoking the pipe off and on, the tobacco pipe. Then I was smoking the cigars a little bit. And then I went to the cigarettes. Then I went back into the pipes and cigars. Yeah, as of November 2009, I pretty much quit the cigarettes altogether and went back to the pipe and the cigars. And, let's see, I tried smoking the hookah for a little bit. Never really liked the hookah as much. I liked it a little bit, but um, I bought a hookah for Christmas, for t or my parents bought me a hookah for Christmas, for obviously for tobacco for Christmas 2009, and that was my Christmas present. So that was fun to do for a while, but really my smoking history prior to my YouTube channel being started on January 8th, 2010, wasn't very exciting. It was mainly just me sitting on the deck, my deck, you've seen it before, just puffing a few cigarettes, not even inhaling, uh, puffing a pipe. A lot of times I'd walk around my neighborhood smoking my pipe, my tobacco pipe, and that's what it really would be like, or I would, um, puff a cigar, would hang out with family or friends and puff a cigar. I think I shared a cigar with a friend, obviously who was of the legal age also. Yeah, she was 19. Yeah, actually a girl. So, not my, not a girlfriend, but just a very good friend of mine. Um, She was 19 and she wanted a cigar, so he's obviously the legal age to smoke is 18. So, though it might change, that's another thing. So, yeah, my smoking history wasn't very exciting prior to my channel getting started. I wasn't exploring many tobaccos. I think I tried probably a couple, maybe a dozen or two pipe tobaccos for a pipe. I think I tried a few, you know, a few handful of cigars, gas, a lot of gas station cigars, honey Dutch masters, strawberry grape Dutch masters, which are vile, nasty. So now. Um. Now, I want to give a, that's my smoking history prior to my YouTube channel. Now, we want, I want to give a few shout-outs to uh, several people on YouTube, actually many people on YouTube. This, this video is not going to be super long, but it's going to be longer than most of my videos. So, if you're not into watching long videos, click off right now. So, um, first person I want to give a shout-out to is Ozone Layer Hates Me, Rain Dog, King Siggy, Beans, uh, 312, I think it is, 310? Beans, J Dig, Dig HX, uh, White Cigarette Confederate, even though he doesn't comment on my videos anymore. I want to give a shout out to Smokes of Black, even though he doesn't comment on my videos anymore. I want to give a shout out to Smoking Mafia or X Marketplace, even though he doesn't comment on my videos anymore. 34 Magnitude, uh, Paul Williams, uh, he comments on my videos quite a bit. John, and many, 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 many more. So, I can't include everybody because I'd be here for two hours. Because I have almost 18 hours subscribers, but those are some important mentions I want to give a shout out to. Obviously, the Ozone Layer Hates Me, who was one of my first subscribers, and Rain Dog also. They were my very first original subscribers. King Siggy for making video responses for such a long time, and he still does occasionally. Uh... People like uh, 34 Magnitude, who's been with me for a long time, years. Oh, sorry, but that's my colostomy. Um, um, people like Paul, John, uh, very, very, very nice people. So I've met a lot of nice people. I have had trolls, but I've also had a hell of a lot of nice people comment in my videos. So, anyway... 
those are some people I want to give a shout out to on YouTube. And I, I know I'm forgetting hundreds of people, but I can't include everybody. Those are just some people I picked out personally. And don't troll me for that, or flame me for that. Next thing I want to talk about is trolls are starting to come after me and continue to this day around spring 2010. I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about this because I don't want to make this a rant about trolls, but my channel for a long time, until it got really popular on YouTube, I really never got trolls on my videos. I think everybody for the, the beginning of their YouTube career, if you want to call it that, YouTube career, they don't get a lot of trolls until they hit around 100 subscribers. I didn't start getting trolls on my channel till June, July 2010. So, for the first six months of doing YouTube, I got virtually no troll comments. But then I started getting troll comments, and you know what? I don't care about trolls, really. I know I talk about them a lot, but you know what? Screw trolls. You know, screw trolls. Um, I hate trolls. I mean, I hate trolls in my videos. I hate people criticizing my videos. I hate people saying black when I say white. I hate people who I blocked and they keep commenting on my videos through an iPad or iPhone. Um, I hate trolls. But you know what? Trolls are trolls. It's just words. It's nothing that's going to hurt you. The only time I would ever report a comment to YouTube is if it was a threatening comment. So, you know what? Screw trolls. So, anyway. Um, sorry about that little rude gesture. But, um, yeah, screw trolls. So, anyway, um, but I did start getting trolls around, you know, 2010 or so, and I've gotten them up, up until this day. I used to get them more, not as much anymore, because a lot of people support me now, and a lot of people would troll the trolls if the trolls comment on my videos. But that is enough about trolls. That's enough about trolls. Um, now, another thing that's kind of interesting is, um, King Siggy, as in, well, 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 Evan, good to see you once again, as in that guy, King Siggy, um, his video responses start in, two, in fall 2010, so, he started making video responses to me in September 2010, and his first video response was on a video I did a long, long time ago about pipe lighters, tobacco pipe lighters, and that was really cool. So he made videos for me because he helps out people who are not as popular on YouTube as me, people who have like 100, 200, 300, 400 subs, and he he did all kinds of video responses, and his channel got shut down, unfortunately, and he had to make a new channel. Um, he's been nothing but good to me, he's been nothing but nice to me, so he is really, really a good friend, and he's really, really one of the reasons I got so, so popular, because if you don't know, when he makes a video response to somebody, he always links their channel and links their uh, page to in the video in the, his uh, comments. And for a long time, he would link everything in the comments and make a video response. But unfortunately, as of fall 2013, you can't make video responses anymore on YouTube. Because YouTube shut them down. But um, he still makes video responses to a lot of people, even though he doesn't link the video in the video. So, um, big shout out to King Siggy. I wouldn't be where I am today without King Siggy. So, and for you, those of you who are wondering, he does not smoke cigarettes. He smokes cigars and pipes. Even though his name is Siggy. So, anyway. I want to talk about now how my videos have changed over the last several years. So, this January will be or in a couple days, actually. Actually, in a couple days, it'll be six years since I started uh, making YouTube videos in seven days. Uh, no. In four, five... In five days, exactly, it will be six years since I started making YouTube videos. Can't believe it. So my videos have changed a lot. They went from really, really, really kind of boring videos to really high quality videos with big ass cigars and beer and rambling and pipe tobacco reviews and cigar reviews and all this cool neat stuff, this neat whatever. So, and I'm surprised I get as many dislikes as I do because if anything, if you look at my videos five years ago, six years ago, my videos, or almost six years ago, my videos are not as high quality as they are now. When I first started making videos, I would sit in the garage with a pipe in my mouth, tobacco pipe, and I would record for 30 minutes and just ramble. 
I would waste time, I would talk too fast. That's one thing I used to do a lot is I would talk way too fast. I would have to get the pipe lit. Now my videos are about random topics, questions, answers, um, pipe tobacco reviews, cigar reviews. I know a lot of people criticize my videos still. And a lot of people, I'm not going to name names, but a lot of people don't like my videos. Because I don't smoke my cigars when I review them. Or I don't smoke my pipe tobacco when I review it. So, but you know what, I think my videos are a hell of a lot better quality than they were five years ago. Because five years ago my videos were pretty crappy quality, honestly. I think my videos have changed a lot. So now I want to talk about the future of my YouTube channel in winter 2016 and beyond. Because obviously I am tending to continue making videos for the indefinite future. So I'm, I'm intending to make videos till I die. So whether I die at 50 years old or I die at 100 years old. So I'm going to keep making videos no matter what. Until I get too busy. So Or I run out of topics. So um, my videos really... Even though that you might be expecting something, you might be expecting something fantastic, my videos are going to be pretty much the same thing. I will eventually run out of video ideas to do, you know, random topics, that kind of stuff, questions, series, all that kind of stuff. But I think eventually in the next year or two, probably, by 2016, 2017, 2018 and beyond, I think my videos will be like random topics, questions, rambles, rants sitting back with a big ass cigars and the drinks, having a nice drink with you and a cigar with you, and that kind of stuff. So I think my videos won't, won't be much different. I'll still be doing pipe tobacco reviews. I'll still be doing big ass cigar reviews. So anyway, I think my videos will be pretty much the same. I think eventually we'll run out of series to do. I have videos planned for the next um, probably six months or so. Six months or so. Yeah, six, nine months. But I think eventually my videos will be like rant topics, questions, answers, that kind of stuff, rants, rambles. But um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy those big ass cigars and enjoy everything. Enjoy life. Um, I want to discuss right now, do I still enjoy making videos as of winter 2016? Sorry, that's my cost me. So... Do I still enjoy making videos as of winter 2016? Yes. The answer, the short answer is yes. I still definitely enjoy making videos. I enjoy the hell out of making videos. I enjoy every bit of it. I look forward to every one of my videos, every one of my big ass cigars, every one of my drinks. I am very, very grateful to have almost 1,800 subscribers, even though I only get on average, 30 to 50 views per video. I love making YouTube videos, and I will continue for the indefinite future. I will try to improve quality, but you know what? Not much, because I really, really enjoy making videos. I'm still very happy. You know, the novelty of making videos, the novelty of smoking. Some of that has worn off over the years with me getting older. You know, I was 18 when I started making videos. Now I'm 24 and a half, almost 25. So some of the novelty has worn off, but I still enjoy the hell out of making videos. So the short answer is yes, I still enjoy making videos as of winter 2016. Uh, pipes and cigars, which is better? Which do I smoke more? Uh, I'm not going to get too into this because it's more like a six and a half years since I started smoking video. More like an anniversary video for my smoking. I definitely enjoy, as recent, over the last several weeks, I really enjoy cigars. When I first started making videos, I only smoked a pipe. I only smoked a cheap basket pipe. If you remember my basket pipe, I used to smoke my videos. I really enjoy cigars. I love cigars. I've got an Awinador. I use Humacare pillows in it. I love Padrones. I love the big-ass cigars. So... I really love cigars. I really become much more of a cigar person. I still enjoy my pipes. I still enjoy my pipes, but I don't enjoy, you know, just smoking three pipes a day. I would, I would prefer to smoke a pipe and maybe one or two cigars, uh, or two cigars rather.
so yeah, I, I still um, enjoy pipes, but I love cigars now. I love, love, love cigars. Okay, why do I no longer review hookah and nasal snuff anymore? This is kind of a topic I wanted to talk about, not just on this video, but on other videos. A lot of people have been asking me, why don't you review snuff anymore? You know, nasal snuff, why don't you review hookah anymore? When will you try chewing tobacco? When will you try dip? You know, when will you try chaw? And the short answer is, first off, I said this before and I'll say it again, chew, dip, and snooze, I will never try. I will never try chewing tobacco because it's disgusting. I would rather smoke. I'm aware that I'm breathing in over 4,000 chemicals. But you know what? It's my body. So, not going to get into a rant about health, but you know. Um, so the short answer is, I'm never going to try chewing tobacco. I'm never going to review chewing tobacco. I'm never going to review snooze. I thought about this today when I was like, just thinking. And a lot of people have been asking me, are you going to try sweet snooze? Are you going to review snooze? Are you going to review chew? Are you going to review dip? And the short answer is I will never, ever review oral smokeless tobacco products like chewing tobacco and dip. So, but you know what? There's a lot of good channels out there. If you like, um, if you're the kind of person who likes um, chew or dip or snooze reviews, there's a lot of good channels on YouTube like Outlaw Dipper, My Jug One. There's a lot of good channels like, um, let's see, Coke Junkies, a lot of good channels. So, if you don't, if you like chewing tobacco reviews, there's a lot of good channels out there for you. Now, to why don't I don't review snuff and hookah anymore, nasal snuff and hookah? Honestly, snuff is gross. Uh, I hate doing snuff because it makes me sneeze, and I sneeze enough, I sneeze enough already. Um, makes me sneeze, makes me gag. So, snuff is not good. Hookah is not only kind of burns my throat, but it's also incredibly unhealthy, and I don't want to be using another tobacco product. So, I really don't enjoy hookah anymore. And I don't enjoy snuff anymore. That's why I don't review them anymore. Eventually, I might review a hookah here and there, or hookah shisha here and there. I might eventually, you know, do one snuff review here and there. But I don't review snuff and hookah anymore. Nasal snuff and hookah. My, my pipe and cigar life as of winter 2016, basically my life is like this. I wake up in the morning, do my routines, have a pipe, and then go to work usually at my, at my grocery store. Then I have a cigar in the evening, and if I'm not waking up early the next morning, I usually review a cigar. So I have two cigars a day and one pipe. So two cigars, one pipe, or two pipes, one cigar. And that's basically my cigar and pipe life. So, pretty simple. I would never smoke more than four times a day. Really never more than three times a day. I haven't smoked four times a day for a long, long time. Despite what some people think. Some people think I'm this huge time chain smoker who's smoking ten pipes a day. But I'm really not. I'm really not. There are people who smoke a hell of a lot more than I do. So, um, how, many, how my pipe tobacco cigar, gas station cigar... Nasal snuff reviews have changed over the last several years. So, nasal snuff I don't review anymore. I think that's just a typo. So, my reviews have changed a lot. Um, if you look back at my reviews, I used to just ramble in the garage with a pipe in my mouth. And just, you know, smoke a cigar and this and that. My reviews have gotten a hell of a lot better. They've gotten... Really, really detailed, really complex. I still don't smoke my, most of my videos, my reviews, but I review in a lot more depth. I talk a lot slower. I explain a lot more detail. They've gotten a lot better. Even though a lot of people don't like my reviews, I think they've gotten a lot better over the years. If you look at my first reviews, like the Odd Man Out sampler, yeah, that brings back memories. Terrible reviews. I'd be like, well, this tobacco is like, uh, like that, like, uh. Now it's detail, like, okay, this is tongue bite, this is body, this is flavor, this is taste, this is this and that. This is how much I rate it out of 10. Great reviews now. So, finally I want to say thank you to everybody for watching. The viewer, the subscriber, you, right there. 
<laughs> thank you so much for watching, even the trolls, if you trolls watch this video, thank you so much, I, this video is almost over, and it's at 30 minutes right now, so I don't want to make it any more longer, thank you so much for watching, keep subscribing, keep rating, keep subscribing, and big ass cigar for life, hashtag big ass cigar for life, comment, like the video, share the video, rate, subscribe, I love making videos, I'll keep making videos, and I will make a video when I hit 4,000 videos, so, anyway, I know I said videos a lot. Anyway, comment, like the video, share the video, rate, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching my 3,000 video. If you watched all of it, thumbs up to you, and big ass cigar for life. Anyway, bye.